Hi, my name is Joan Hughes and this is ECDL Word Processing Module 3, Assignments 11 to 20. So, the first thing that we have to do is open the document Word. So once again, we're going to go to our file ribbon. We're going to go to the open button, click once. We're going to ensure that we're on the desktop. Come down to our M3 folder and then right down at the very end we're going to open the word. Once you have that open we have to save a copy of this document so we're going to save the document as Word 2. So we're going to click once on the file ribbon in this backstage view we're going to go to save as and under the file name we're going to take out the file extension put in a space and put in number 2 and click save. The first thing that we need to do is check for spelling and grammar errors. At the moment you can see that there are two errors on screen. Now, you can do this two ways. You can either right click on the actual word and locate the correct spelling. Or you can go to your review ribbon. Spelling and grammar, the very first button here on the ribbon. And it opens up this window here. It shows the misspelled word in red and the correct spelling here. So we're going to move over and click the change button once. And once again, it's showing us the misspelled word here, the correct spelling here. And we're going to click change again. Then it comes back and it lets us know that the spelling and grammar check is complete. So we can click OK on this. The next thing we need to do is to change the view mode of the document to draft layout. So we're going to select the view ribbon and in this document view section we're going to click draft. Now we need to change the word and to the symbol and so we're going to replace one word with another. So we're going to select the home ribbon and over on the right hand side in the editing section we're going to click replace once. In the find what we're going to type in and in the replace with we're going to press shift and seven to get in the symbol. Now remember, if there was a word like stand, S-T-A-N-D, it will replace the last part of the word with the symbol, unless you select the more button. And right underneath here, it says find whole words only. We select it and it will only replace words that are only A-N-D. I go replace all. <coughs> It says it's completed the search and made two replacements. So I click OK and close. Now for the next question. We want to apply the heading one style to the heading in the document word. So I'm going to select it. And over here in our style section, I can see the heading one style. If I didn't, I could click the down arrow. It would show me more styles. So I'm going to select the heading one style. And you can see that it has changed this. It's actually changed it to bold, size 16, and that is the heading one style settings. The next thing I want to do is change the line spacing in the document to double line spacing. So I'm going to select all of the text, and in the paragraph section of the home ribbon, I'm going to the line and paragraph spacing button. I'm going to click it once, two is for double, so I'm going to click two. And you can see how it's spaced out the text on the document, making it quite easy to read. Now I want to add a three point black border to the heading word. So I'm going to select the heading word. And in the paragraph section of the home ribbon, I'm going to the borders button. I'm going to click on the down arrow to the right. And right at the very end, I'm going to click borders and shading once. Now this dialog box is opened up here. So under the settings section, I'm going to choose a box. Once you get that done, you can go to your styles and you can change the line styles to one of your choice. For me, I'm going to stick with the very first one. You can change the line color. So I'm going to choose a nice red. You can change the width of the line, the line thickness. And I'm going to choose a three point. So we can see a sample of it here. So the next thing I need to tell it is, do I want it the width of the page, which is the paragraph, or do I only want it around the word? 
So I only want it around the heading. So I'm going to click this once and choose text. And you can see it here now. And then I'm going to click the OK button. <clears throat> and we can see how this has been applied. So now we're going to look at indentation. So we want to indent the first paragraph by 0.5 centimeters from the left margin and 2 centimeters from the right. So I'm going to select the paragraph and I'm going to go to the page layout ribbon. Over here in the paragraph section, we have indentation. So we said we wanted a 0.5 centimeters from the left. So I'm going to bring that up to 0.5. And then I wanted 2 centimeters from the right. So I'm going to keep going till I get right up to two centimeters. And now it's asked us to indent any other paragraphs in the document by two centimeters from the right. So I'm going to select the text. And up here again, I'm still on the page layout ribbon in the paragraph section on the right. I'm going to change it up to two centimeters. The next thing it's asking me to do is to insert my name two lines below the last paragraph. So I'm going to click at the end of the paragraph, press my enter button twice and type in my first name. Now it wants me to use a tab to place the text two centimeters from the left margin. Well, this is your tab setting and automatically by default it's set to left. If you click it once again, it comes to a center tab, which it means it centers text under the tab. And if you click it once again, it goes to right, which means it right aligns text under the tab. So the one I want to use is I want to get to the left one. Now I'm not dragging or anything else. I'm just moving my mouse to under two and clicking once and it sets the tab. Now all I have to do to move my text into this is I anchor my cursor at the beginning of the text. And on my keyboard above the caps lock button is the tab button. So I press it once and it moves my text in to the location that I requested. The next thing we're going to look at is how to split paragraphs. So it says in the paragraph beginning it's fast and create a new paragraph at the sentence beginning finally. So this is the paragraph we're speaking about and this is the sentence beginning finally. So to split the paragraph I anchor my cursor at the beginning of finally and press my enter button twice and this is split the paragraph. The next thing it wants us to do is to print a copy of the document. So I'm going to go to my file ribbon and in this backstage view, I'm going to select print. Now this shows me a preview of the document on the right hand side. And over here, it shows me the printer that's selected. How many copies do I want? So I could want two or one, but in this case, it's just the one. And then I click the print button and it sends it to the printer. The last thing I need to do now is I need to save my document. So I go up to the file ribbon and in backstage view, I click save once. And once again, to close, I'm going to go to the file ribbon and in backstage view, I'm going to select close once. And this has completed the lesson. Thank you.